Okay. Uh, how the world doing out there? My name again is Melvin Isaac. I'm here at the Dorsey Gallery interviewing a good artist, a good brother named Max. So I'm going to allow Max to explain who he is, uh, what he's here for, uh, when he started here, and why he's doing what he's doing here at the Art Gallery, and probably explain some uh, some about his artwork. So uh, tell me, uh, what's your name? Uh, Melvin, my name is uh, Carl McIntosh. They call me Mac. They call me Jack. They call me some things I can't tell you, because they call me all kind of names. But I, I'm one of the members of the Dorsey Art Gallery, and I'm also a student of Mr. Art O'Neill. Everybody that comes in here is a student of Mr. Art O'Neill, and this is a collaboration gallery, because he has his mind and his hands in everything that we do because we need his expertise. But we're here as a Dorsey gallery because Mr. Dorsey used to be a picture framer, and then he started uh, showing art, selling art, and a lot of people were educated about art by Mr. Dorsey. So when he passed away, he left this gallery here for us artists to show our work and have some place to be, meet, talk, communicate, and share ideas with. And Mr. Melvin here is one of the artists. He's also a student of Mr. Otto Neal. And uh, I have to keep lending him an easel because he don't have an easel of his own. But I don't mind because that's what we do here. We share. Okay, well, how's it going, Melvin? How, how's things going at the Dorsey Gallery for you? Well, so far it's going very, very excellent for me. Uh, I've been uh, really progressing since I started here. Uh, and plus, took a lot of uh, uh, advice by Mr. Art O'Neill about things that I need to edit my work, you know, when I see something that wasn't right, and he has shown me which way to go on that and how to perfect it even better. And even yourself, you know, mm -hmm. uh, when you see things that, uh, you know, you might look at the artwork and say, well, let me ask you a question about that, or you might advise me to do something else. So it's going very well in terms of uh, people are looking at it. Uh, people buy the work and they, they like what I'm doing uh, when I go out there to the public. So, you know, I'm very happy, very happy about that. But I need to ask you a question when you mentioned about Art O'Neill. Who is Art O'Neill? Well, Art O'Neill is a, a, a brother, a father, an uncle, an activist, a pacifist, all of the above. But he's a very fine artist. He's a master artist. He deals, and if you get a chance to speak to him again, you can ask him. He deals in any medium that you can uh, mention. But let me get back to you. Yeah. You're also in a show right here at the moment called Mixed Bag. Uh, so how uh, have you been received in this show? Often receive uh, uh, very well, you know. Uh, most of the people that, that came here that seen my artwork, uh, they liked it, they expressed themselves, and they, uh, I think I've sold uh, three pieces already. Mm -hmm. And uh, they wanted to share things with me about what they, why they bought the art. Mm -hmm. So that made me feel good. So well, what it, maybe you can share a couple of things they might have said to you, if you remember. Yeah, uh, well, we, we start with the, uh, and I will show you the, uh, the artwork of it because it's right behind the camera, but I'll show it to you later. Mm -hmm. And it's called The Still, uh, Still Life with Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, very colorful dawn. Uh, it has uh, uh, a lot of uh, still objects like apples, oranges, uh, fruits, vegetables. And then you got this parrot mm -hmm. that watches over it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they like the contract. And one of the person uh, that had got it, she's a teacher. She said, this is the one that I want. Mm -hmm. I want to hang this right into my living room because this represents, you know, art that I like, you know. And I was very pleased about that. You well, know? can I ask you, what's your medium? What, what medium do you work in? Oil. I like to work in oil. I also like to work in uh, black and white pencil. Mm -hmm. And then at times I work in pastel, but most of it is in oil or pencil. And my specialty is uh, portraits. I love doing portraits. I'm a portrait artist. Oh, so you're well versed. You, yes, you, well you, you versed. have uh, yes, yes, yes. quite an ability. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Very well versed. 
And, uh, you know, I just love what I'm doing. I like being an artist. I enjoy it. I do it every day, mm -hmm. you know, uh, from uh, sun, sun up to sundown. So, so, well, let me ask you. You just said you, you like being an artist. You do it every day. Mm -hmm. Why do you do it? Why are you an artist? How, how long have you been an artist? Well, okay. So, uh, basically, I was born with this talent by mm -hmm. the grace of God. So, this was given it to me uh, through birth. And uh, from that point on, I started to realize that I had something to offer the world and offer myself. It was part of uh, my purpose in life, you know, to share this with others. Well, let me, let me stop you again. Is anybody in the family have artistic ability that you might have uh, inherited not, this from? Not that I know of. It might have been uh, my uh, grandfather or something. What might he have done? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anything of that nature. It's just me, mm -hmm. you know, in the family that, you know, we can record that have this uh, talent or this ability to do these things. Mm -hmm. so, so you were born with it? I was born with it. So you have to do it? I have to do it. This is part of my life. <laughs> you're blessed. You're blessed. I'm blessed with you're blessed. It. That's right. That's right. God gave me this blessing. He said, yeah. well, this is your purpose. Once you understand your purpose, you will blossom. Yeah, you know, and you feel good about yourself because now you know why you're here to do these things. To present well, I'm people. glad the Creator sent you here to the Dorsey Gallery so that you could share with us and share with the brothers and sisters out there thank your God ability and your blessing. Yes, yes, thank you. That's thank a you blessing for, for us. Yes, it was a blessing for me too. Okay, you know, for being here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Peace. Peace. Okay. Okay, so that was good. So okay, uh, my name is Melvin Isaac. I'm the artist of the art piece that you are looking at right now. The title of this piece is The African Queens. The date is 1998. It's a pencil drawing and the size of it is 16 by 20. This is a communication drum. The title is Communication Drum. It's a pencil drawing. Is done in 1999 and the size of it is 16 by 20. This is a pyramid and it was done in 2000 and 16. This is a oil painting on canvas. The size is a 16 by 20. This is a Tupac Shakur pencil drawing. I started this in 1999. The size of it is 16 by 20. This is a still life with parrot. This was done in 2017. Oil painting on canvas. And this is an 18 by 24.
This is Martha Luther King Jr., civil rights leader, 2001, Sixteen by twenty. The title of this is called African Ritual. Two thousand and sixteen. Oil canvas. Sixteen by twenty. 